Hello. So I'm back again. <laughs> How are you pleased to see me? Uh, welcome to Mystic Road Mystic Path. My name's Angie and this is the fourth fourth um video on these amazing druidic uh druidic <laughs> forgotten druidic craft that's it cards and if you want the story behind what i'm doing here um go and check out my video uh 19th i think that was this is interesting very interesting i think this could even be a parallel awakening journey so what what is definitely very apparent when you wake up yeah is there are two paths and we, we've observed this for many years and in fact we used to be on the fight path not flight fight <laughs> uh we did so many protests over the years um lost count um some of them were a lot of fun as well the the direct action stuff was really really fun um and you know had a sense of humor so yeah um and we did that for many years you know fight the system fight the system mm, the system doesn't really care the system doesn't care if you fight or not so um it's been quite a few years now since we well we did do one in 2021 the freedom protest we did do that just once and then we realized why we stopped <laughs> but okay so anyway yeah i digress so this these cards i think i feel are the other path that you can take after you wake up i think that's what these are so why do i say that well these are the nines so nines are all about endings yeah nines are endings before you do the turnaround which is 10 and then you come back to one so 10 is like a turnaround point for me as is zero yeah so the one and zero it's the turnaround if that makes sense it does to me but you know it might not to you <laughs> who'd want to be in my brain um so yes the nines so this is endings so you wake up from the nightmare <laughs> you wake from the nightmare <laughs> yes i know what that's like you wake up and you think i think the thing um because you know myself and ian we're you know older let's say that we are elders in fact um and so when you know we had a very slow process of waking up although it wasn't any less shocking but it was a slow a slow wake up as opposed to being shaken away by someone saying there's a fire um there's a difference um so this is definitely around uh this awakening that happened you know it's been happening these past few years um and it's been quite traumatic for people that's this card. You've woken up from the nightmare. Then we get to a space. For, for me, in this context, this card is about... There's a kind of a peace, but it's not balanced. There's an imbalance here. Pentacles being earth element, yeah. 
these are not balanced it's heavier it's leaning more to one side if that makes sense um so for me this this, this lady is not happy she looks kind of she looks a bit pissed off actually <laughs> she looks a little bit pissed off um and she is holding the tree to, I would say, to stabilise herself, even though what she's holding on to is not really that. It's a, it's a little branch. It's not, it's not that stable, really. That could snap. <laughs> um, she also is, is she's holding on to a bird. Yeah. So, for me, this bird that she's holding on to is the idea of freedom that you get when you wake up from the nightmare and you're going, freedom, freedom, yeah? But all the time she's holding onto it tightly, the bird's not going to be free and nor will she. Does that make sense? We've got early morning light here, so you've woken up. It's, it's, this is linear time again. You've woken up early morning. Urgh, you know? You think you're on stable ground but you're not it's leaning too heavily one side yeah even in this card it's, it's really interesting <laughs> it's like the table is set yeah the table is set and you've got all this and um, what's in this wine if you like you know the hall it's a very important man here clearly yeah there's even a big fish on the table but there's no one there because everybody's waiting. Well, maybe he is. What was he waiting for? Literally, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Are you waiting for someone to say, yes, you are free? <laughs> Guess an oxymoron. moron. <laughs> um, and that's the thing about the, this path of fight. Yeah, You go from, so even here, so here's the progression of time. This is sunset, yeah. You go from waking up from the nightmare to, uh, I say, becoming the nightmare. Because you've gone from uh, one polarity to the other of the same of a of of the the concept of fear. There you go. So. What we have here, obviously, you know, battle worn, you know, you've been injured, you've taken it, you know, so many times, which is what that energy does, because once you're down the rabbit holes of, you know, everything is corrupt, you know, and you're going, oh, look at that, you know, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, 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 oh. it's constantly coming at you, yeah, like spears. And from a karmic perspective, if you get enough of them, they'll stick. Yeah, thought form, very powerful. If you feed them. If you don't feed them, they shrivel away and die. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm going in there. I'm going, um, so, yeah, nine of wands. <sighs> Warrior. So you've gone from... Being the victim to fighting, she still comes with the same energy. Same energy, because it's fear. Yeah? Fear energy. In, or at the very least, pissed off. <laughs> <coughs> so that's, that's what I'm seeing here with these. It's very much, this is the other path. So in the twos, there were two paths, weren't there? There's the path that is illuminated and there's the path that's this. So those two paths are in the twos. Story of the twos. There you go. You got the path of illumination, which was the eights, if you like. And this is the path of the fear, which is the nines. In, in these cards, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Which, which one do you want? Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> what I'm going to do. <laughs> what I'm going to do. 
because uh, that's a bit of a yeah I'm gonna pull a card I'm gonna pull another card just to end it on a better note because this is this is what it does this is what this energy does it pulls you down to its fear yeah to, to all that stuff that comes with fear yeah actually no I'm gonna pull a Lyran I'm gonna get me Lyrans on board yeah because they went through a similar thing their story is extremely sad actually so let's let's ask the Lyrans for a little bit of guidance so okay so if you're in this if you're in this this will help you if you you're about to choose this stop yeah goodness sake um numerology so the numbers so it's in the numbers nine is the the ending so something is ended yeah the the world as you knew it or the world that you thought was real yeah <clears throat> the new time here we go here we go positive self-talk advancement opportunity leadership Mastery activated, Akashic Records, explore deeper. So what this tells us is where that fork in the road was, you need to go back to that fork in the road and choose the other path. That's what this is saying, yeah. Because you might think, well, I can't do that. How, how do I do that when, you know, I see that everything is a lie? Well, you choose a different path. Once you know that, you know, yeah, there are lots of things out there that are corrupt. That's all you need to know. You don't need to go any further than that. So if that is all corrupt, then you come back to you. The only place that can ever take you is back to you, back to yourself, back to who you are as a being. And as we found out in the story of the Aces, that being is something else. Yeah. So there you go. I hope this has left it on a better note and has given you a little bit of guidance on how to get out of this or to get you to go back to the crossroads. Crossroads, fork in the road. Yeah. Anyway, this has been the story of the nines. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if if this isn't your path, then definitely go and check out the ones before. The story of the eights, the twos, the aces. Uh, and I've got the story of the princes and the queens. The queens are amazing. I've been looking, I've been really wanted to get to the queens. So let's get to the queens, but we've got to go by the princes first, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you for being here, listening to my ramblings. <laughs> around these cards I just think that it's really exciting it's really exciting um and I hope this has helped in some way uh that's my dog he's going Arr! he wants his breakfast <laughs> don't forget thumbs up subscribe comment all that other blah blah youtube stuff um because it's, it's you know as people say it's really good for the algorithm I just want to get this message out to as many people as possible. So share it if you like as well. Uh, anyway, thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Um, don't forget to stay fearless.